I almost every day get this query. Uh, sir, I am trying to get into a DevOps career. What we should learn first? Should I learn Kubernetes or should I learn Terraform? Uh, where to start with? What is the career prospect if I have to standalone get into Kubernetes or Terraform? So today, let's let's try to do this comparison. This is not going to be a technical videos, guys. So if you want to learn it, there are separate videos where we have dived deep into the architecture of containers and Kubernetes. You know, I'll link that into the description. But this is primarily on the career side. Uh, we are trying to compare Kubernetes versus Terraform and see how it goes because I have done certain research which might help you. So to start with, I did some research on the global market and identified what kind of job openings we have. So in Kubernetes, you have different roles. But if we cumulate everything, I found around 15,000 plus job openings here. And by the way, I will come to this. But when I say Terraform, it was not only Terraform. That's a huge difference between Kubernetes and Terraform. The Terraform is always an add-on to your existing skill we'll talk about it later so it was around 16,000. okay these are approx number guys so you can understand that it is neck to neck where you need like almost both are in demand uh, but the change comes the difference actual difference comes at the entry level roles because it at entry level kubernetes has lower uh, entry level jobs wherein terraform has higher why because kubernetes in itself is slightly more complex than, than terraform and by the way let's quickly touch base what is actually kubernetes so kubernetes is your container orchestration so this is your container this could be your docker container there could be multiple docker containers okay so instead of managing it uh, you know standalone you put this up into your Kubernetes cluster. Have you seen a teacher uh, arranging the kids uh, in annual day competition, small nursery kids who are trying to dance on their own and she's trying to manage? That particular teacher is Kubernetes because without that, it would be very difficult for you to manage and maintain so many uh, containers uh, together. So basically, it's an orchestration platform, very famous platform. Whereas Terraform is infrastructure as code. So previously, you used to go create your virtual machines on cloud, manually create your security, your network manually on cloud. But now you can use Terraform from HashiCorp and you can you know, use the language which is called as SCL, HashiCorp command line language. And this you can use and you can create the scripts and those scripts will create the resources for you automatically. So in one script, you can create a VM on GCP, on AWS and on Azure. So it's a very powerful way. And now everywhere, wherever we have platform engineering, DevOps, pipelines, everything is being managed by Terraform. So the question is why the entry level jobs are lesser because here this is easier to learn this is more complex kubernetes is a very wide paradigm you can enter here as a kubernetes developer certified kubernetes administrator but it is very complex it is a beast in itself whereas this is slightly easy so if you are a fresher okay or if you are someone who is trying to understand how to get into these kind of tech roles like cloud engineer or any other devops junior devops engineer then terraform would be a easier barrier to entry and that's why a lot of entry jobs are given here what i observed and again this is just an observation that you minimum need two plus years of experience in this field and then you are considered like an appropriate candidate uh, but yeah, there are always exceptions at both ends. So yes, from the perspective of time, I think to master Kubernetes end to end, you know, you need around six months, four to six months, I would say. Okay. Wherein here, I would say anyone can master Terraform in one to three months. That's why it is a lower barrier to entry. Prerequisites here, you should understand containers. You should understand networking, Linux. Okay, networking and Linux. These are basic things here. Here you need to understand how cloud works, basically how virtual machine works. So basic, basic understanding is enough, but it is not very, very complex to understand the basics because basically you just need to write the scripts and those scripts will deploy the resources. So I would say that basic understanding of your cloud infrastructure, how cloud infrastructure is maintained is enough here. So prerequisite wise, this is what you need. But uh, yes, you can go into too many details here, but we don't. We want to keep it simple. Certification, uh, one of the certification is certified Kubernetes administrator. It is around 28,000 rupees or 30,000 rupees. I don't know exactly here. The certification for Terraform associate comes around 5,000 rupees. Okay. 
so you can see the cost cost is higher complexity is higher but then the package is higher the prospects are higher average salary again a very controversial topic i don't want to give specific numbers because it varies hugely from geography from person to person from company to company but i would say that definitely Kubernetes is higher for sure. If you know Kubernetes really well, you would surpass anyone who only knows Terraform. Okay. Now there could be caveat that Terraform is just one skill set of your whole domain and you are very good end-to-end -end DevOps engineer, then the things are different. I'm purely comparing Kubernetes versus Terraform. So obviously you will not uh, settle in your life or retire in your life only learning Kubernetes or Terraform. Okay. You would learn the whole ecosystem. But the purpose of this video is to enable you with enough information to let you take the decision that which could be your good starting point. And definitely, eventually it will never be versus. It will always be with. So it's a plus plus. Kubernetes with Terraform or Terraform with Kubernetes. That's the best profile you can get. Okay. So coming to the career track, what kind of career tracks we are looking at? So here you can start as a junior DevOps engineer. Okay. Then you become a Kubernetes developer or administrator. You can also get into platform engineer role. In the Terraform perspective, you can join as a fresher and then you can start with cloud engineer from cloud engineer, become a junior DevOps engineer. And eventually you can also uh, target architect kind of roles at a senior level. Okay. Because Terraform in itself will not give you a job. You need to learn it to be honest. Another role which I forgot is could be the SRE role, site reliability engineer. So basically all these roles are very, very closely linked. So I can't tell you the exact path. I'm just giving you some bullet points to follow along, but you can actually pretty much target any particular uh, role, either learning Kubernetes or Terraform. But as I said, you have to learn both. You have to not only learn these, you have to learn everything, the whole ecosystem of DevOps. But yes, if you can master Kubernetes, I'm again telling you that will give you an edge because you can actually run your whole career with Kubernetes, but that's not the case with Terraform. So Terraform is a good to have thing. If you're completely new, you want confidence, you want to get into this whole career of DevOps, DevSecOps, start with Terraform. It gives you good leverage. It gives you good knowledge. It gives you confidence. It's easier to learn. Get in. Learn that first. If Kubernetes is getting overwhelming for you, eventually you will come here as well. Uh, and you will learn this as well, but start here. It's easy. It gives you a good flooring. Okay. Good flooring means you get a good base to enter. A lot of people enter here, so it gives you a good flooring, but this gives you a good ceiling. So while you can enter here easily, you can reach heights with Kubernetes. That's the, that's the thing which I'm trying to tell you. You can learn Istio here, Helm charts, all those kind of different advanced concepts you can learn in Kubernetes. And with Terraform, you have to use Terraform as one of your skills and then have wrappers on top of it. Okay. It is not a very prominent skill in its at its own, but you will learn it. And from jobs perspective, product companies like this a lot uh, because they will always need Kubernetes experts. While this is a more generic requirement. So even service based companies, every company, any company who's deploying anything on cloud will be using uh, infrastructure as code and Terraform. So it is more massy and it is more classy, <laughs> I would say. So, uh, but yeah, both are, both are really good skills to have. And I hope this video is a good eye opener for you. And by the way, if you want to start with Terraform, one thing which you have to do is you have to start with cloud basics. Okay. And what better you can learn in cloud basics uh, than AWS, Azure. These are both best of the clouds. We have something in the description. Go check it out on AWS. See if it works for you. We have tried to make it really good and you see if you want to learn AWS cloud with generative AI, then this could be something uh, really, really promising for you. So yeah, go check it out. So yeah, guys, that's it from my side. I hope it was useful. In future, if you want technical videos on Kubernetes or Terraform, write in the comments Terraform or Kubernetes with and then a hyphen and type what topic you want in particular for Kubernetes or Terraform. And then I'll study, I'll research. I'll make a video. So until next time, keep learning, keep sharing, keep growing, keep it slow, go with the flow. Bye for now.